Hi and welcome back to this uh, build of a 16mm scale Hudson Hunslet diesel loco. Um, as you can see, um, we're basically there. I think this will be the probably the last video. Um, I will do a, um, a final kind of wrap up, I've finished um, style video uh, when I've done the weathering. But um, essentially this is now complete. Um, so I've glued the seat on. I'm hoping it, it's, it's glued on but it's as you saw before there's only a tiny little bit of um, support so um, if that comes off what I might have to do is drill through the chassis and put a pin uh, in but it, it's on for now and um, I'll just show you the driver figure does fit in the seat if I'm careful there we go he fits in fits in nicely um, nothing no problems there I need to obviously paint him um, but that's a <clears throat> that will come with the weathering um, but yeah so I managed to get actually managed to get some paint on the side panels over the weekend um, so they're now finished off a uh, small amount of uh, s silver steel um, rod for the handles um, fitted on both sides um, haven't got the battery in here at the moment because it's a bit of a fiddle to, p fiddle to fit it in but you can see the handles do their job I can happily grab hold of side panels um, and pull them off we'll just do the other side for completeness um, there you go so the magnets on the top um, hold it, uh, hold them in place, but the handles do their job of actually acting as handles. Um, yeah, I think that was the the, the handles was the, the, the side panels was the last bit. So um, I did paint the seat pad and seat back um, a kind of worn brown leather colour. It's actually um, a pot of uh, Rail Match sleeper grime um, that I used, but it seemed about right um, colour wise. Um, but yeah, nothing else has changed really since last time. Um, other than now, it looks complete. It looks the it looks the it looks the ticket. Um, I'm yeah, I'm over the moon with how this has come out. Um, it's really really good. I mean, I was really happy with the with the Simplex model, but that was obviously somebody else's kit that I detailed. Whereas this is uh, this is my work from from scratch. Now I know I'd already built the four millimeter scale one, um, but obviously this was a was a lot more of a of a challenge with all the metal parts and, and things. So. Um, yeah, really, really happy with how this has turned out. Um, I'm sure that other people, given their parts, could probably make a better finish of the model. As I say, I got a drip on the paint. There's, there's some things don't line up quite square. I think that the top piece isn't quite square to the front and back. Um, and there's a couple of holes that I missed that I should have filled. You can just see it's shining in the light. Um, but, you know, it's my model is the point. It, I've built it um, to... My skill level, I guess, is the is the answer. Um, these door handles are probably a little long, if I'm honest. They're about the right thickness, but I think they're a little long. But um, again, as I say, that's just I can get hold of them then with my fingers. Um, but yeah, so um, so really happy. Um, as I say, I think this is the this is going to be the last well, last but one video. As I say, once I've done the weathering uh, and the uh, and things, that I will I will do a, a final wrap up video in the style of the other. I've finished videos on the channel, um, but for this long running, long running series, I think we can uh, we can basically bring it to an end. Um, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully, um, everybody who's watched the full series has really enjoyed it. Um, kind of enjoyed following along. Um, not sure what the next model will be. Not sure how I'll do how I'll document it. Whether it will be a video based one or whether I'll go back to blogging about some of it. But um, there will be more videos in the future, certainly. So, um, yeah, thank thank you for uh, following along and all the comments that people have left. It's uh, it's been a, it's been an interesting journey, and I've really appreciated the feedback. Um, so, yeah, thank you.